Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Steady.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis Early Childhood Education Test 5025, then let's review some of the types of geometry questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get started. Which of the following answer choices explains why a circle and a heart share common attributes? Our first option is, they both have three sides. A three-sided shape is a triangle. They are not triangles. This is not the correct answer. They both have parallel sides. Parallel sides are opposite each other and do not intersect, and this is not the case either. I want to skip down to the bottom. They both are not symmetrical. Symmetry is when you can fold a shape in half down the middle and the same shape, they overlap exactly. And that is the case for both of these. So it is not that. Now our last one, they both have no sides. This is correct. They are both closed curves. So there are no sides. So that is the correct answer. Which of the following shapes from the image depicts the polygons that have two or more parallel sides? Let's look at the definition of a polygon. A polygon is a closed shape with straight lines. So right away, that eliminates the circle. A circle has no straight lines and we can cross off and eliminate any answers with circle in it. All right, so that leaves us with triangle and square or hexagon and square. Now, what are parallel sides? Parallel sides are sides that are opposite each other and that no matter how long they go, they're never going to intersect. So let's look at the triangle. The triangle does not have any parallel lines. None of them are opposite each other. So that is not the correct answer either. Now just let's look to make sure the circle and the hexagon do fit polygons with parallel sides. All right. We've got one, one here, here. So there are two parallel sides on the square and on the hexagon, we've got one here, two here, and three here. So this one is the right answer, hexagon and square. Which of the following two-dimensional shapes can be decomposed from the three-dimensional cube shown in the image? Now, let's look at decomposed. What does that mean? To decompose is to reduce into two or more parts. And what is the definition of a cube? A cube is a solid shape with six square faces. So let's look at our options. Trapezoids, hexagons, no. Squares, yes. Triangles, no. We can confidently answer squares. What is the amount of time that passed from 11.40 a.m. To 6.25 p.m. All right, let's do this the simplest way possible. 11.40 a.m. to 6.25 p.m. We'll start with 11.40 a.m. and we're going to work to 12 p.m. And that is a total of 20 minutes. All right, next, 12 p.m. 
to 6 p.m. And that is a total of 6 hours. Now from 6 p.m. to 6.25 p.m. is 25 minutes. So we have 45 minutes plus 6 hours. All right, let's look at our answer key. Six hours and 15 minutes is not correct. Seven hours and 45 minutes, no. Six hours and 45 minutes, correct. And it won't be five hours and 15 minutes. So the correct answer here is six hours and 45 minutes. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now. Thank you.